Rocky, do you believe that America is the land of opportunity? Yeah. Apollo Creed does. And he's gonna prove it to the whole world by giving an unknown a shot at the title. And that unknown is you. He picked you, Rocky. Rocky, it's the chance of a lifetime. You can't pass it by. tuning in right now. Thank you for tuning in. Happy New Year to everyone. Hope you guys had a great one. Great New Year's Eve. Um, great Christmas. Of course, I was gone for two weeks, but now that I'm back with the biggest movie review since I started this show. Rocky 1976 right here tonight. As you can see, I got the official title. This is the title. Sylvester Stallone, a.k.a. Rocky Balboa 1 in the movie. Found it at a convenience store. <laughs> See, it has a Stallone. See, Rocky right there. And the man himself, Apollo Creed. Can't get better than that. Look at that. Unbelievable. Great, great title right here. Anybody interested in getting one of these, you can go online and shop for it yourself. Because I ain't giving this away. This is mine. This is my baby. <laughs> Had it for over 15 years. And it just fell to the ground. <laughs> Anyways, what a great show we have for you tonight. Rocky 1976. Also music performance, music video by Saya right here tonight. So you do not want to miss that. Also, I have a tribute to all the people that we lost in 2020. People that I've, you know, connected with. The people that I've known. Celebrities and stuff like that. So not everybody's going to be included in it, but it's still pretty cool. You guys are going to enjoy that. It's a little tribute that I did, a little in memoriam for them. It's going to be pretty badass, okay? So look forward to it. It's going to be a little sad, of course, but I look forward to it later tonight. Hope you guys are enjoying your Monday night. We are here on Monday night. And, man, what a way to start the show with the, the Rocky Championship, right? Not bad, huh? A lot of stuff going on in the news, of course, like that. I'm not going to bore, bore you with all the politics and stuff like that. I'm sure a lot of you guys know what's going on in the world right now. Starting a brand new year, we want to start fresh. Um, you know, it's been a hell of a year. I mean, 2020 knocked us all down. Um, whether you caught the virus or not, it just kicked everyone's ass, that's for sure. 2020 kicked everyone's ass. And, um, you know, like I said, man. It's, it's been a crazy year, and um, now now I got this show going right now, season two, so I'm going to kick it in, kick it off in high gear right now. I want to talk a little bit about, um, you know, the movie industry right now, what's going on. A lot of big-time movies coming out this year, no joke, a lot of big-time movies. I swear, it's like we went back to the 80s this year. I mean, we got, for example, Mission Impossible with Tom Cruise, part seven coming out this year. We got Top Gun with Tom Cruise coming out. You see, they got the gloves on. Oh yeah, gotta get ready, I'm gonna go into fight mode tonight when I do my movie review. Oh yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> so that is called the hair flip. Anyways, I got a new 007 coming out this year with Daniel Craig, this might be his last one. A new Ghostbusters movie coming out, not sure if the original cast members are coming back for that one. You know, but um, I know um, Paul Rudd is going to be in it, so eh, it should be good. Coming to America is coming out with Eddie Murphy. 
Arsenio Hall, are you kidding me? I mentioned that a few weeks back on my show. Black Adam's coming out with The Rock. The Rock's going to play Black Adam. Venom 2 with Tom Hardy. So that's pretty badass. The Little Things with Denzel Washington. That's actually going to be out, I think, January 29th on HBO Max. Space Jam 2. Remember Space Jam? The original one with Michael Jordan. Man, they're coming out with a sequel to that one. I'm not sure if Michael Jordan is going to be in it or not. It would be pretty cool if he made a cameo appearance. But yeah, um, man, we got um, King Richard with Will Smith. We got The Matrix 4 with Keanu Reeves. The whole cast is coming back for that one. Not sure about Lawrence Fishburne, but it's going to be pretty badass. You got The Matrix. I mean, come on. One of the all-time favorites. Um, pretty much it's going to be pretty badass. You know, like Fast 9 with Vin Diesel. So you got a lot of big, uh, big-time movies coming out. Of course, you know... The Rock, you know, he has his own thing going on. The Rock's originally from um, Fast and the Furious franchise, but he's not going to be in this one. This is going to be Vin Diesel taking the lead again in this movie. So it's going to be pretty badass. So yeah, a lot, of, a lot of stuff with the movie industry going on right now. I was looking at the news the other day, and I saw that, um, you know, Harrison Ford, he's going to be in the new um, Indiana Jones 5. And a lot of people were, you know, they, you know, the news outlets, they go a little too far. You know, like, for example... You know, they talk about, oh, he's going to be in a new series, too, about Indiana Jones. He's going to play Indiana Jones in a TV series, which is pretty cool. Um, I think it's a mini series, but still, it's badass. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm sold. Um, but sometimes you see the media go a little overboard. I just saw it online the other day. Harrison Ford was outside sipping some water. I was like, really? <laughs> That's the best you got? And they show a picture of him sipping water with his mask down. I guess they wanted to catch him with his mask down. I don't know what the hell's going on. It's stupid. It's ridiculous. I mean, come on. Let the guy drink his water. Do you really have to make that a headline? Come on. Stupid. <laughs> oh, yeah. So that, it's called a hair flip. <laughs> Only on tonight. Oh, you see that. <laughs> and here we go again. <laughs> now it's all fuzzy. Damn it. Anyways, speaking of movies, um, we got Harry Potter, you know Harry Potter, you know those little guys from that um, wizard school or whatever, yeah, anyways, <laughs> they're coming back, the original crew is coming back to um, do a new Harry Potter movie, that's pretty cool, um, and speaking of uh, returning characters to the same franchise, Sex in the City, of course, you know, a lot of you ladies out there know what I'm talking about. Right? <laughs> Sex in the City is coming back with the original cast members, minus Kim Cattrall. Um, why am I talking about it? Yeah, I do watch the show with my girl. You know, when she turns that thing on, I'm like, front and center. You know why? Because I'm a man. And real men, <laughs> real men admit when they watch Sex in the City, okay? I don't want to hear that crap. I'm a real man. <laughs> when I'm watching it, you know, I like the views. You know, city views, other views. Anyways, moving on. <laughs> oh yeah, like I said, what a great show we have for you tonight. Um, once again, Saya will be on the show. Music video by Saya tonight. Look forward to that. He's going to be performing the platinum song that he released. Pretty badass stuff right there. Also, we have... Uh, the movie review, Rocky, 1976. You ain't going to get better than that one. Trust me. Um, but I'm happy to be back. I'm happy to be back in uh, with season two of my show. Can't get... It's going to be a great show. It's going to be a great show. Going forward, we're going to have um, celebrity interviews coming up. Um, directors, comedians, and stuff like that. I'll let you guys know. I'll keep you updated on when that's going to take place. But it is going to take place on season two. So look forward to that. We've got some big names coming in. Speaking of, I want to go back to the movie news for a second. I kind of got word from online sources. Yeah, that's my word. That's where I get my information. Um, <laughs> this is kind of bizarre, but Johnny Depp? Did you hear about this? Johnny Depp might be the new Beetlejuice? Well, don't throw anything at me. I mean, <laughs> it's true. I heard the rumor. Johnny Depp might be taking over the role of, as Beetlejuice in the sequel Directed and directed and made famous by um, Tim Burton, you know. So Tim Burton is returning to do the film. What I don't understand is that Michael Keaton, who looks the same, Michael Keaton, who is about to return as Batman, maybe he has too much on his plate. I don't know. But let me tell you something: no one else should touch this role. But 
Michael Keaton. Johnny Depp, you stay with your Pirates movie, okay? <laughs> Scissors movie. I mean, am I right? You, know, you stick to those movies that you know, you know what you do over there. Stay away, stay away from Beetlejuice. I speak not just for myself, but for millions of Beetlejuice fans out there. Okay? I don't know if you guys heard in the news about that woman, that white woman, accusing that innocent black teen of stealing her cell phone. Believe it or not, it's insane. Um, the, the cell phone, her cell phone, was actually in the lift that she, the Uber, whatever she took, prior to the, entering the hotel. She left it in the Uber. She comes in and accuses a innocent black teen of stealing her phone. Number one, the guy had a case on his phone, you know, a phone case. He had it on his phone. She somehow thinks that's her phone, but that's his case. So was the guy walking around with the phone case all day until he found the phone that matched his phone case? Come on, now that fit it, huh? Come on. So it's got to be ridiculous. you got to be really insane to do such a thing like that, okay? It's insane. Um, I feel bad for, the, you know, what's going on. Like, you know, the racism and all that shit needs to end, man. This is out of control. That's just... Whether it was a mental situation or not, I don't care, man. It's insane, okay? To be put on blast like that in front of other people, accusing you of something you didn't do, you know? Let me tell you something, man. Whatever happens to her, whether she goes to jail, gets fined, whatever it is, she's well-deserved. Because nobody deserves that. Nobody deserves that, okay? It's getting out of control right now. Out of control. I mean, 2020 was a shitty year, you know, especially when it came to racism. But, you know, now we're going into the new year with this um, story and it's like, when's it going to end? You know what I mean? When's it going to end? Enough is enough with this. Um, but yeah, you know, I want to move on to a different story right now. Of course, right now, I don't know if you guys heard the news, with a Wisconsin pharmacist was accused of tampering with 500 milligrams or 500 um, doses of uh, the COVID-19 vaccine. No joke, yeah. He tampered with it by taking it out of the freezer, the cold freezer where it was supposed to stay cold and fresh to be sent down and stuff like that. So he took it out, left it um, in the heat pretty much, they didn't put it in the cooler, and he got arrested for that because, you know, that vaccine is very well needed. You know what I mean? Like we need, well, you know, in general, people in general, the really um, desperate people that need the vaccine need it, okay? And then this guy... I don't know what was his agenda, I don't know what his plan was, but pretty much to take that away from people that need it and to do such a thing like that is cruelty and it's unbelievable. The guy should definitely be punished for that. Go to jail, serve some time, wake up, you know, realize, like, come on man, do you realize what the hell's going on? I don't think you do. Anyways, like I said, we got a great show coming up next. Um, I want to show you guys a little tribute I did to the stars that we lost last year. A lot of my favorites, a lot of my favorites for sure. A lot of surprises too, believe it or not. And then um, right after that, we got a great movie review, Rocky 1976. And then for the finale, the big finale, Saya right here tonight. You don't want to miss that. He's going to be performing Platinum. It's going to be a great music video, so don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Jack. take a few moments to show you guys a little package I put together, a little tribute montage I put together for the stars that I, you know, not all of them are there. A lot of people passed away last year, a lot. Um, you know, COVID, you know, you name it. I'm just people that I known, you know, growing up and this and that. So they're in the package. Um, I just want to take a few moments to, to pay homage to them, pay tribute to these guys. So please take a look at this and, um, We'll be right back. Y'all crazy. I'm broke as a joke. Y'all some high rollers. And y'all broke. 
What's up, Stanley? Well, fuck you then, punk. Like you're saying you want to put on some gloves and spar with me. <laughs> no, no, how it sound like that? <laughs> you don't want to? We must find a way to look after one another as if we were one singer tribe. Two words for you. I'm staying right here. That's four words. Oh, is it? Then I got another four words. Screw you. Well, that's two words. Uh, Arthur, maybe you should stop saying in advance how many words you have. Yeah. Once you do that, you're pretty much locked in, huh? Locked. Yeah, right. Okay. could have watched six hours of Lucy. <laughs> There's I Love Lucy. And we both know it's the job of a general to, by God, get things done. <laughs> so many of can understand. I'm a little younger than I say. You're not a senior? Oh, I'm a senior. <laughs> In high school. I, I want to be, I want to be the world heavyweight champion, obviously. Uh, and I plan on doing that. And the plan on using this is like a vehicle to this injury to vehicle to get towards that. So that is my ultimate career goal. My ultimate life goal is to make my son happy and my wife happy and to have, make give them a good life. So it's all coming together. remember spending these mornings with all of you so thank you very much for these great years together god bless you all and i hope i see you again real soon thanks everybody yeah i mean even making that video was very tough you know because a lot of those guys you know really connect i really connected with them um growing up you know you, you see this you see these people you get inspired and all of a sudden you know boom um this happens and um, I just want to say rest in peace. Rest in peace to all the people in that video. Rest in peace to the 350, over 350,000 people that have died of COVID. And, you know, just um, let's just hope for a better year. You know, that's all we can do right now. Let's hope for a better year and a uh, better tomorrow. All right, so coming up next, we got a great movie review for you guys. You don't want to miss it. Rocky, 1976. Oh, yeah, we're going to war. See you right now.
Rocky 1976 movie review. And like I said, this is going to be one of the best movie reviews that I've done. I've been a fan of Rocky since I was a kid. Everyone that knows me knows I'm a huge Rocky fan, huge Stallone fan. The guy is still making action movies all the way until today. 74 years old. Unbelievable. Um, but yeah, like I said, Rocky, man. What a great movie it was. 94% of Rotten Tomatoes. Not bad for a Rocky film. Um, especially the first Rocky film to come out back then. It, believe it or not, it was $960,000 it cost to make the film. $960,000. Made over $225 million back in 1976. Today, that's almost $1 billion. Yes, today. And um, like I said, where can you go wrong with a film like this starring Sylvester Stallone, um, Talia Shore, Shire, and um, Burt Young, Carl Weathers, and the, the best of the best, Burger Smith. Unbelievable. This, this group of cast in here is unbelievable. From start to finish, this is a knockout film. No doubt about it. Okay? It's pretty much about a young boxer from Philadelphia, you know, a southpaw. He pretty much gets picked to go fight the heavyweight champion of the world because the previous contender was injured. So Rocky says, do I have what it takes? Nobody knows. Um, he goes and gets trained by Mickey. Uh, Mickey pretty much helps him, brings him to the top of the rank, gets him ready to go for this big fight, right, against Apollo Creed. To me, one of the best characters in the Rocky films. No doubt about it. I don't care if it's Clubber Lang, um, Ivan Drago, you name it. Apollo Creed was just that badass of a character. And there's no there's no question about it. No fighting there. And um, like I said, it was pretty... This is a pretty badass movie. It won the Academy Award for Best Actor back in 1976. Of course, Best Director at the time, too. Um... But yeah, and then of course, one of the best fights of all time. Um, you got Rocky versus Apollo, the main event for the world title. Of course, Rocky, you, many people, millions have seen the movie. I'm not spoiling anything, but it pretty much is like a split decision. And um, they were, those were real punches that they were given, believe it or not. They wanted to make the fight authentic. Sylvester Stallone wanted the fight to be as real as it gets. He did not like the fake punching. Wanted to get hit for real. There was actually one scenario where um, Carl Weathers, a.k.a. Apollo Creed, actually punches Stallone in the chin during the audition. While he was auditioning for Apollo Creed. Stallone said, hey, easy now. To, you know, take it easy. Um, Apollo Creed thought he was, um, wasn't the actor that was playing the role. He was just a stand-in. And he told him, nah, man, if you are real, we need a real actor in here, you know. You gotta, you gotta be able to take these hits. You know, it was an accident, of course, but, and then the director came up and said, "Hey, that is the real actor, and he's the writer." And Apollo Creed stood back and said, hmm. "Wow." You know, he was kind of shocked, but at the same time, he did punch Stallone in the chin, which was a real situation at the time. But like I said, they became best buds after that. Uh, let me show you guys a clip from the movie. Check it out. Without a ranked contender, what this fight is gonna need is a novelty. This is the land of opportunity, right? So Apollo Creed on January 1st gives a local underdog fighter an opportunity. A snow white underdog, and I'm gonna put his face on this poster with me. And I'll tell you why. Because I'm sentimental. And a lot of other people in this country are just as sentimental, and there's nothing they'd like better than to see Apollo Creed give a local Philadelphia boy a shot at the greatest title in the world on this country's biggest birthday. Now that's the way see it and that's the way it's gonna be of course believe it or not in order to get this film off the ground Stallone pretty much had to what the rumor is that he had to sell his dog he only had a hundred bucks in the bank no car and um, his manager just died previously before the movie was even considered and stuff like that um, also um, the, the directors you know they uh, they offered three hundred and fifty thousand dollars for the script Stallone said I'll say the script one condition, I star in the movie. Stallone had his demand. The guy didn't want that. They had other people in mind. They had Warren Betty, Ro Warren Betty, you know, Dick Tracy, Robert Redford, Burt Reynolds, um, pretty much James Ken. They had uh, James Ken is the guy from Misery. And um, a lot of people in mind for the role. Stallone was, you know, he was demanding. He said, you know what? 
That's the only way you're gonna get the script. I know you guys see something in the script, so that's it. That's the way you're gonna get it. The guys agreed um, to help Stallone and get him in the movie to start the movie. They they didn't see star power in him, but you know the studios they said we want a real actor. We want somebody with experience. Stallone didn't have experience, of course. He was in the Lords of Flatbush. He was in other movies and stuff like that, but nothing too big. This was the big one. This was the big daddy right there, um, Rocky, um, that got him the Academy Award. You know, so like I said, one thing led to another, and here we go now. They got seven movies in front of them. Well, eight on top of that with the Rocky 1976, but seven sequels that came out after that just because of what happened um, with the directors and the writers and them deciding Stallone was right for the part at the end of the day. At the end of the day, they thought, they knew he was the right choice. And then Stallone was in charge of hiring Carl Weathers, Burt Young, um, Burgess Meredith, Mickey, and um, Talia Sharp, and you name it. You know, you got a group of characters in this movie, unbelievable. And, you know, I even, sometimes I even do the impression of Stallone. <sighs> Let me see if I can do it. Hey, yo, Mick. Hey, yo, Mick. You don't like my house? My house stinks. That's right, it stinks. <laughs> oh, that stinks. <laughs> Here comes Mickey. All you need is proper management, kid. You need proper management. <laughs> Probably not as good as other people. My apologies. And you got Stallone saying, Oh, you took my lock away, Mickey. You took my lock away. And then Mickey says, Rocky, you're gonna... <laughs> you're gonna eat lightning and you're gonna crap thunder. Something like that. <laughs> I probably messed up his name as well. My apologies to all those Burgess Meredith um, fans out there. But that's that's my take on it. But yeah, Stallone, man. I try to do a good Stallone impression, but it never really comes out okay. Well, maybe it does. You give me feedback in the comments below. Um, let me show you guys another clip. Check it out. Hey, you got something for me? Yeah, there was some guy here from Miles Juergens looking for you. They need sparring partners for Apollo Creed. Put me on. There's a car. When was it here? About an hour ago. They'll probably look for sparring partners for Creed, you know? I said that before, you dumb dago. You know, I've been coming here for six years. In six years, you've been sticking it to me. I want to know how come. You don't want to know. Yeah, I want to know how come. You want to know? I want to know how. OK, I'm going to tell you. Because you had the talent to become a good fighter. And instead of that, you became a leg breaker to some cheap second-rate loan shark. It's a living? It's a waste of life. Got this a while back. It's a little scratchy, but of course, the whole five movies, the first five movies of Rocky, Rocky 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, right here on DVD. Believe it or not, I also have the VHS, but it's in storage somewhere. Okay. Also... Take a look at this, huh? This is pretty badass, huh? Look at the blood coming out of his mouth, huh? Hey, you don't like my house, Mick? My house stinks. That's right, it stinks. My whole life stinks. Well, you need just proper management, kid. Proper management. <laughs> Once again, a thousand pardons for messing up Mickey's line. I love Burger Meredith, man. My have you guys ever seen Grumpy Old Men? I'm going to review that movie one day. He did really great in that movie. Part 1 and 2. It's back in the 90s. But yeah, we are back, of course, after seeing that scene. Pretty badass stuff right there. I want to tell you guys, you know, in the movie, uh, believe it or not, uh, Pauly, uh, Pauly, you know, Pauly Shaw, I was about to see you here, Pauly Shaw. Uh, Pauly, uh, played by Burt Young, um, actually, you know, with that scene where he was coming home drunk, well, actually, a real drunk actually stumbled upon the location of the filming at the time and told Burt Young, playing Polly, you're doing it all wrong. Polly, um, Burt Young actually told the, the, the drunk, the bum, pretty much, well, I don't know if it was a bum or a drunk, whatever, um, show me, help me out, show me how you, I'm supposed to do it. The guy showed it, and that's how Burt Young ended up doing his scene, based on what the actual drunk showed him. Believe it or not, this was not in the script. This is exactly how the guy showed him. So I thought it was pretty cool. A little trivia, a little thing that you probably didn't notice there. Well, you didn't know at all because I'm telling you it for the first time. 
But yeah, um, Stallone quit smoking. He quit smoking during the filming of this movie because every time he was running or fighting, he started losing his breath. So he quit smoking in this movie, which is uh, pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. You know, it's good to know. Also, um, that scene that I was talking about before, as you can see, hey, yo, Mick. Um, the scene where he told Mickey, my house stinks, the apartment, it's true. It was improvised. That whole scene was improvised, believe it or not. It wasn't in the original script. Stallone and Mickey just worked together on that, and it was pretty cool. The part where Mickey goes down the stairs and Stallone runs after him, that was part of the script. But they wanted Stallone and him and Mickey to, you know, Rocky and Mickey to come up with their own dialogue, which was pretty cool. It was not bad at all. That's probably why I'm, like, obsessed with saying, hey, you know, Mick. Yeah, anyways. Moving on. Let me show you guys another scene from the movie. Check it out. Stallone wrote this film in three days. No joke. Three days. He was inspired by the Webner versus Ali match, the boxing match in real life, um, going back to uh, back to 1975, actually, believe it or not. It was a year prior from this movie being released. It was a big match between Ali and Webner. Won about 15 rounds before um, Webner was uh, TKO'd. But yeah, I mean, I think, thought that was pretty cool. Another thing I wanted to let you guys know is Cher, you know Cher, the legendary actress Cher. She's like 73 or something like that, but my God, she doesn't look a day over. 30? 40? Around there. She looks good. She looks really good. Um, Cher was going to be, um, was considered to play Adrian. Oh yeah, true story. Uh, I thought that would have been a cool pair of Cher and Stallone. Are you kidding me? Look at that. Pretty much writes itself. Oh, yeah. Um, but yeah, like I said, this movie has it all, man. Has it all. I'm definitely going to review Rocky 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You name it. I'll be reviewing them throughout the year. Um, but I just wanted to start my first show of the year with a Rocky movie. You pretty much can't get better than a film like this. Um, another scene I wanted to tell you about was the, the jogging scene. You know, when he was jogging in the street and the guy threw him like an apple or an orange. Well, that was improvised, believe it or not. That whole scene was improvised. The people in Philly didn't know anything about him running by. They were like, who's this douche, you know, running by with a camera crew chasing him down? Well, that was Stallone, and he was, uh, he's not a douche, but you know what I mean. That's probably what they were thinking, like, guys like this. Hey, yo, hey, 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 yo, hey, 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 Anyways, but that whole thing was improvised and stuff like that. Even the guy throwing the orange was improvised. That wasn't part of the scene, but they liked it. You know, they, they, they liked it and they kept it in the scene. Uh, another thing is um, Burgess Meredith, believe it or not, he got the role because nobody else wanted to audition for Mickey. Nobody else wanted to audition for Mickey. So Burgess Meredith, you know, he pretty much they hired him on the spot because he wanted the audition, but they knew he was the right choice. There's no doubt about it. Mickey... Um, Burgess Meredith, he is the, you know, he's from Batman back in the, the old the original Batman from back in the day. Like I said, this guy is one of the most intelligent actors, smartest actors out there. There's no doubt about it. Well, was. He passed away back in the 90s. But um, he's just one of the all-time greats. I mean, you can't, you, got, you just love Mickey. He's just one of the, the great characters from this film, just like I love Apollo Creed. You know, Burt Young, you name it, Talia Shire. There's just so many great names in this movie. Um, but like I said, it's just one of the all-time greats. Came out in the 70s. Um, and um, I'm definitely going to review Rocky 2, not too far away. Maybe next month I'll be reviewing Rocky 2. I got a lot of movies lined up this month. And um, But yeah, thanks for tuning in for the Movie Night Review. And of course, coming up next, Saya. It's going to be performing Platinum. 
It's going to be a great music video. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. And we're back. Coming up next, a great music video performance by Saya performing Platinum. Take it away. Time to watch the clock, hold it down for the block, for the block. Lifestyle player, game closed caption, you chasing the hoes. You moving backwards, see what you see, but you ain't active. We moving bricks, changing gold into platinum. Talking platinum plaques, talking platinum lacks. Bosses on the track, Kane on the beat, DJ running back. Truck of pain is the crack, stacking cash, being broke up in the past. Never going back, we here to make it last. Step your game up, make you some dollars, but you can't change up. Times get hard, would you run the handle business like you made for been grinding so hard? Ten toes in the field, through the pain I came from. I once heard this saying, saying, if you're looking backwards, you end up tripping over what's in front. So what is it that you want? To be rich, you trying to stunt. On the timeline, trying to front. Being honest, call it blunt. You gon' get what you want to let your moment knock you out. Being broke, ain't no punk. I can take you to the game, up to you to make the jump. Know what it takes and things may seem to bend, but don't. Let it break out the mix, life is what you make it Up to you to make it, shake it Never ever let anybody hate for doing something that they can't Keep adding to the fame, more about respect You can keep the fame, I'm trying to tell you Pay attention to this game If you hungry, get your weight up Ain't no time for the layups, stack your paper, keep it player They gon' aim for the top, ain't no time to watch the clock Hold it down for the block, for the block Lifestyle player, game closed caption You chasing the hoes you moving backwards, see what you see, but you ain't active. We moving bricks, changing gold into platinum. Talking platinum plaques, talking platinum lacks. Bosses on the track, Kane on the beat, DJ running back. Truck of pain is the crack, that can cash, being broke up in the past. Never going back, we here to make it last. Hello? Hello? Uh, excuse me, sir. Please, uh, don't call my phone anymore about any platinum, okay? Do you hear me? He got platinum. Talk, 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 talking, talking, talking about platinum records. Idiot, don't call my phone. I want gold. Idiot. show say that was pretty badass great music video um i want to thank you again you know you definitely helped out the show with that performance with that music video and uh, man anybody wants information on saya please check out the links below all his information is down there i would love to have you back down the road um happy new year buddy and like i said you know that was just a great uh, great music video and of course next week we'll have somebody else performing this show we're gonna have another movie review next week Stay tuned for my social media for updates on that show. I know this show went a little over. You know, usually it's about 20, 30 minutes. I don't know. I know I went over. A thousand pardons. Um, once again, thanks um, to Saya and um, everyone that supports this show. I appreciate it. Please subscribe. Please share. Please like. Please comment. You do what you got to do. I appreciate it all. 
Um, if you share it, I appreciate that a thousand times. Um, like I said, thanks for tuning in. And that's going to end this week's uh, premiere episode, season two of Tonight with Bruce Martin. And we'll be back next Monday night. Until then, take care of each other, be safe, and Happy New Year. Deserve everything on this earth times two. No time for the games. Keep